Hey, Grapple Class, how's everybody doing today? This here is Jake. He is our new buddy. Say hi, Jake. Hi, everyone. Mwah. Jake and I were just talking about music. Actually, I was talking. Jake was doing all the listening, right? But, okay, I'm gonna put you down, buddy. But I am at work today, and we have the radio on, or I had the radio on, and a song came on that it was hurting my ears. And by that I mean, it was kind of not good. And my spirit inside me said, you shouldn't listen to this garbage. So with that being said, how appropriate for today's lesson. And today's question is, if Jesus had an iPod, what would he be listening to? So I am going to read to you uh, 1 Corinthians 6, 12. And that says, I have the right to do anything you say, Lord, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but I will choose to not be mastered by anything. So what does that mean? That means in this life and on this earth, we do have the choice to do anything we want, right? But there's good and there's bad. There's right and there's wrong. There's good and evil. And we, as Christians and followers of Christ, we have to be very careful what we look at on the TV, what we listen to on the radio, and what we allow into our minds and into our hearts. Now, music is so important to the Lord. God created music, and his angels make music to him all day long in heaven, in the heaven, heavenly realms. And you know, we as humans, we praise and worship. We love music. A lot of us sing all the time. And it is a beautiful blessing and a beautiful gift. And it is God created. But along the way, the enemy has gotten in there. And he has thwarted a lot of today's music. And he has put a wicked, not pleasing God twist on a whole lot of music. So what would Jesus listen to on his iPod? Well, I don't think he would listen to music that um, promotes evil or sinful things or worldly things or conceited things. Jesus would have music on his iPod that would glorify the Lord, that would glorify the Father, and that would not be filling his heart and his mind with all sin-filled, evil, wicked, dark things. So I just encourage you all to please do the same. Christian music today is awesome. And there's so many genres. Genres meaning different styles of music, right? There's something, uh, Christian music, there's a style of Christian music for every type of music that people like, whether it's country, whether it's rock, whether it's pop. And so I just encourage you guys, let that be the music that you listen to. And if you listen to it on your iPad, iPod, let that be the, the music that you listen to. All right, guys, I love you all. Going to be seeing you real soon, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Where's Jake? Hey, Jake, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Let's say goodbye. Come here, buddy. Bye. Bye, grapple class. <laughs> have a blessed day, guys. Oh, let's pray. We should pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this awesome day. We give you all the glory and honor, Lord, that is due your name. I just ask and pray, Lord Father God, that each grapple student would just be encouraged by this word today and by this teaching to seek to do your will and to please you, Lord, even when it comes to the music they listen to, that the music they shouldn't be listened to would just turn them off and would just be noise in their ears, but they would want to glorify you in everything they do, including the music they listen to and the shows that they watch as well. And Lord, I thank you for all the students and their families. I pray a blessing over each one. Keep everyone safe and healthy. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>